You know, these are things we've had since we got married, basically. Katie's pregnant. Hi, friends. Welcome back to Rouse Rising. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the wind blows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I want to hang out with my friends and family. Making angels in the sand you Merry Christmas to you all. I hope you are enjoying this beautiful holiday season. In this vlog today, we are going to be doing some holiday homemaking. We're going to be decorating, enjoying some family time together. Of course, we're going to be getting a tree and doing some living room redecorating is what I'm going to call it. So come along and join me today while we get this house fixed up and in the festive spirit. Okay, so typically we hunt in the woods for a Christmas tree and we go out into the forest and we find a Christmas tree. We even bought a tag this year. We were all set to do that, but plans change. Um, so we are currently at the barbecue place. We've driven over an hour to get here and they actually have trees that support the local teeny tiny school that's here. So there's a teeny tiny school in this area and they go out and pick the Christmas trees and cut them down and then they bring them, here's his jacket, and then they bring them here for this place, this establishment to sell. And we decided this year that because I'm still battling this infection thing going on, we would just take it easy and come to this place and eat and pick out a tree from what they have. It's, uh, a little different than what we've done in years past, but I'll link down below the video from last year, how we typically get trees, and then enjoy this video with us. So thank you all for joining me today. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you part of the Rouse Rising family. I've got your boat, And hit that notification bell, because you don't want to miss when I upload a video, and it's typically once or twice a week, so it's not too much. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. They're open nine to eight every single day of the week. Y'all want to go in? Let me Oh my gosh, they have a meringue. We grabbed our thirty dollar Christmas tree. Get in the snow. Snow. Yeah, did we get a tree? All right, let's go help Daddy put it on the car. So we're getting our living room area prepared for the Christmas tree. It's gonna go right there. We are going to take this sofa and the other one, we're gonna try to donate them. Uh, last resort, we're gonna take them to the dump and we're gonna move this sofa over here. My cute little kiddos, they're gonna help us. So we're going to take this sofa apart and squeeze it through the door and get this loaded up in the back of the truck, Aaron and I. And by the time the big kids get home from school, we will have the tree set up in this living room all set up. It'll be a nice surprise for them so that we can spend the rest of the evening decorating the home and decorating the tree. So come along with us as we venture into town and get rid of some of this stuff. And then we're going to be decorating our home with the children. It's going to be lots of fun. So stay tuned for some holiday homemaking. Trying to cherish all of these last moments of the season.
My plan is to keep adding to this floral arrangement as I find items to stick in it, and then we will place it on our stove to view in the living room. Okay, so next Aaron and I are gonna load these up into the truck. He has been trying to convince me to throw these sofas away for a really long time, and they are both broken. They got moved, uh, broken in our continental move. There are springs poking through, and they've just kind of become a hazard for the children. We don't want them to get cut or injured anyway. And this is the ice fog that has been surrounding us for the last week. It has caused all the trees to be covered in ice. It's incredibly beautiful to wake up to the sun shining through the ice coated trees every morning. We've really been enjoying the scenery here in the woods. Okay, so we're at the dump right now. We tried to take our sofas to the thrift stores. They would not accept them because they had a little bit of snow on them. So here we are at the dump just feels good to get rid of these old dirty couches. We had them for 12 years and I know that doesn't seem like long, but they got broken in our transcontinental move. We moved from the UK to the USA and when we moved, they broke the frames of the sofas and we've made them work for the last eight years. Seven years. We've lived here seven years. We've made the broken sofas work for seven years. Um, Today I noticed that the springs were like broken and breaking through and they had really sharp things on them. So Aaron and I were just like, let's just get rid of these. They're just more of a problem. So we have dumped the sofas. We've dumped the sofas. We've gotten rid of the baby crib. You know, these are things we've had since we got married basically. Katie's pregnant. Just joking. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> yeah, we got rid of the crib and Katie got pregnant. <laughs> Not true. Uh, one more thing gone, one more thing purged. We're not gonna be hoarders. That's the goal. The goal is to not be hoarders. So I felt really hesitant to get rid of the sofas. It was really difficult decision for me, not for Aaron. Um, but I feel better now because it's not like I can go back and pick them up because he yeeted them off the back of the truck. <laughs> so yeah, it was nasty. We're gonna go finish uh, setting up the living room. Well, actually we have to go, we might, if we have time, we have to run by base real quick. Aaron has to, he has to sign his commander's letter. Thank you. No, thank you. All right, how much was it to throw away couches? $9. $9 plus gas. Thank you. Bye. Plus gas to get here. And then if we wanted to throw them away in the woods, it would have been free. But we, <laughs> $9 to throw away those sofas. All right. There's no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing. So in the winter time, I love to layer up underneath of my normal daily clothes. So this video is sponsored by Yvette Active Wear and I picked out a few pieces to wear underneath of my cozy tops and my cozy bottoms just to give myself that extra layer of warmth. I really like that the tops have these modest cup coverage built in so that the cups aren't sliding around on you you're not losing them in the wash they are there to stay in place and provide you with an ample amount of coverage so that you can wear these under any of your tops your t-shirts your sweaters these are going to look perfect underneath of there and give you just the right shape and support i really like the fabric it's nice and soft and it's not too restrictive on my chest i like lots of circulation and lots of flow around my upper body so that everything moves efficiently also these leggings are great because they have stirrups and then these ones are high-waisted with a pocket make sure you check out my links down below for all of this discount codes and more
Next up is a different tree. Aaron and the kids went out in the woods and braved the three feet of snow because they weren't satisfied with the $30 tree, so they went and filled their $5 tag and brought home this beauty. Check it out. This year I had two different types of lights. I had both the glowing incandescent lights and I had some LED lights. So what I did was I filled the very inside of the tree with the incandescent lights and then I went on the outside of the tree with the LED lights. And I think that it really helped the tree glow from the inside out. These are the ornaments that Erin's mother made for us last year, her last Christmas with us earth side and they're very very special to us she painstakingly made each one of these ornaments along with Aaron's dad uh, for each member of our family and so we definitely look forward to placing them on the tree every year so the, sh the lights can shine through the tin and so we can see the little birds birds always have a special place in our heart especially cardinals so I'm gonna give you a little tour of our tree and some of the special ornaments on it. These little wooden birds were made by my neighbor. They're very special to us also. Say knock knock. No, Who's there? Is it too hot? Because you, I just witnessed you something out. Yeah. 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 I've been keeping my eye out for a nativity scene and I found this one at Ross Dress for Less and I think it's absolutely beautiful. We loved putting it right here in our windowsill this year and we look forward to having this for many years to come. <laughs> 